Hey guys, Ryan Fraser here from Squid. Uh, Heather asked me to put a video together about tuning drones. So um, we'll, we'll take a crack at that. Um, the first thing that I wanted to mention in regards to tuning is uh, probably the most important thing in regards to good tuning is getting solid, uh, steady blowing. Uh, if, if your blowing is not steady, uh, then you're really chasing a moving target. Uh, with your, your tuning and it's going to be really hard to get there. So uh, one of the most important things to work on in the first few years of, of piping is figuring out that balance between uh, the air that you blow in with your lungs and how you use your arm um, and the, uh, the air pressure, the constant air pressure that you want to have on your reeds to get that nice steady even pitch. And that's going to make tuning uh, a lot easier. But um, to get into uh, balancing your, your drones and tuning them to your chanter, uh, first thing, as you guys probably know, uh, you're tuning to low A on the chanter, uh, and you're going to tune your two tenor drones to one octave below low A, and your bass drone to two octaves below low A. Um, so that's, that's what you're doing um, in theory, but uh, really, you know, in practice, you're kind of doing it by ear, or most pipers do it by ear. You might use a, a tuner uh, in a band setting, that sort of thing, but uh, most solo pipers that you see playing, they're tuning their, their drones um, by ear. And so on a really basic level, what you're looking for, what you're listening for, is uh, a sort of unsteady pitch when you, when you first uh, bring your drones into your chanter. When they're out of tune, you're getting a really wavy pitch that's going wah, 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 wah all over the place and then as you bring it into tune you're getting one steady nice even uh, drone sound so the way that i tune my drones is i tune my middle tenor first uh, i tune that to to low a i you know play a couple tuning phrases and um, you know a tune or whatever uh, something that i'm really comfortable with i know my blowing is going to be uh, really steady on make sure i've got my tuning there then i bring my outside tenor in I tune that to the middle tenor. Uh, then I shut off my middle tenor, bring my bass drone in, tune that to the outside tenor, and then I uh, bring all three of the drones together and, and do any kind of final touches that I need to do. So I'll uh, uh, blow up here and, and kind of bring my drones, um, well, we'll see where they're at, bring them out of tune so you really hear that wavering, uh, and then bring them back into uh, uh, you know tune and um, get them sounding relatively steady. <laughs>
uh, two tenors are pretty close to, to being in there now. Uh, so then I'm going to bring my bass in. I'll shut my middle tenor off, uh, tune my bass, and then I'll bring the middle tenor back in and um, do any final touches. I should say not everyone tunes the exact same way. Some people do uh, a different order of drums, and, and that's fine. This is just how I uh, prefer to do it. and hopefully you could really hear the difference from when it went out of tune and, and uh, the drones were really, really wavering and then when it came into, to uh, into tune and uh, things were a lot steadier. So um, that's how I tune my drones. Hopefully this was helpful for you guys and uh, thanks for inviting me to do this, Heather. I'll see you guys soon.